crossover components, when we're talking about a series and parallel connecting them, um, it could be that you need additional dampening on a tweeter um, and, and you need to uh, install a, um, a resistor in series or it could be a load you want to change so that you need to put it in parallel. Whatever the reason is, you might be finding yourself in a situation where you're like unsure what does that even mean. So you have the value of the component and somebody has told you you need to connect this in series or they say you need to connect it in parallel. Now, I'm going to show you what that means in practical terms. So, right here I have a small amplifier. I got minus here on the white wire and I got plus on the yellow wire. This could also be an already existing crossover inside of your speaker coming with these wires and you need additionally to add this component to it you know uh, to, to your uh, speaker driver it could be that you're replacing a, a speaker driver and you need to change the load of this speaker driver in comparison to this crossover anyway it's still like that that's all details come you know to to that very specific project all I'm going to show you here is series and parallel connected uh, components to the speaker driver. So parallel connected, that would be if you connect on the plus and minus like this. like that so that it sits just like basically like the speaker driver you see how the wire will be looping onto to the speaker driver that means that these two components are getting power at the same time they sit in parallel side by side electrically in in, in a way and that's what parallel means Practically, you could also, instead of breaching the wire and creating a point for you to solder on this component, like here, what would be the case here, you could also mount it directly on the speaker driver between plus and minus. And remember, there is no polarity on these crossover components, so you can turn them either way, it's fine. So all the way up here, just watch out for not sorting out the leads that means that if when you have a steel chassis or aluminum that you don't have the wires touching it so but it could also be that all the way up here on the other side of the wires that you make a connection across plus and minus it will have the same effect in series means that they're running kind of after one another electrically they're in a chain in that went in that sense so if you had an existing speaker that needed a component in series at this point what you do is you cut the wire the plus wire is a good order you actually could do the minus instead but it's good order of things to do the plus so you open that wire up cut it and um, and remove the insulation and then you you solder on like that to each side of the component. So now you have the plus going through this component before it hits this and not a load going across the two wires. So now it has to, everything has to go through this one before I can go through that one. And that is a series connection. Okay? I hope that made it uh, somewhat helpful. I know to a lot of people this would be kind of inane, but um, I do get the question quite often, uh, you know, and, and I can hear that there's confusion. So I want to clear that up. And uh, all right, that's it for series and parallel connected crossover components. Ken from Audio Talk here. Have a lot of fun with your projects, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.